Good morning. <laughs> I told you I'd be here. This is Miss Sophia from the Bellwood Public Library. And I know that I am over here and you are over there, but it feels really awesome to be near you, to feel so near to you again. <laughs> I have a really great song that I want to share with you. It's by Rafi and it's from his Rise and Shine video. And it goes, I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stories. Hey, how about you? I'm in the mood for stories. Reading along with you. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that day. Hey, hey, what do you say? I'm in the mood for that. <laughs> I hope you learn that song. You can play this video over and over again until you learn that song because you can you can sing whatever you want if you're in the mood for singing or if you're in the mood for playing or dancing or whatever you want to do, you can put it in that song. I'm in the mood for telling monster stories. <laughs> They're kind of like my favorite because when I was a little girl, I had such a powerful mind. I will make monsters up in my head. I can make anything up in my head using my imagination. But the best part about making those monsters up in my head, I had the power to tell them to go away. I build them up and I make them go away. I dismantle them. That means I take them to pieces. So you remember that word, dismantle. I build it up. You go away. This is one of my favorite stories, and it's called Go Away, Big Green Monster by Ed Emery. So I'm going to read this story to you today, and then I'm going to read Adi Yo Yo, which is one of my all-time favorites in the whole wide world. So let's go with, um, we're going to start with uh, Go Away, Big Green Monster, and I hope you love this story as much as Miss Sophia does. Are you ready? I want you to see the picture, so I really hope you can. Big Green Monster has two big yellow eyes. You see those yellow eyes? A long bluish, oops, a long bluish greenish nose. I'm having a hard time with this camera. A big red mouth with sharp white teeth. Squiggly ears. Do you see those ears? Scraggly purple hair. And a big scary green face. But watch this. But scare me. So go away, scraggly purple hair. Go away, two little squiggly ears. Go away, long bluish greenish nose. Go away, big green face. Away, big red mouth. Go away, sharp white teeth. Go away, two big yellow eyes. Go away, big green monster. Watch this. And don't come back until I say so. The end. Remember, you have the power to be so creative and make it up in your mind, but you also have the greatest power to say, go away. Go away. That is, go away, 
Bakery Big Queen Monster by Ed Emberley, one of my favorites. And now I'm going to share a story with you called Adio Yo. Adio Yo is a African folk tale and it's by Pete Seeger. And I love this story. It is one of my favorites of all time. And a lot of people have heard about this story, but I'm going to share it with you. Adio Yo. Once upon a time, there was a boy who played the ukulele. And around town, he'd go clink, clunk, clunk, clink, clink, clunk, and the grown-ups would say, take that thing out of here. Not only that, the boy's father got in trouble. The boy's father was a magician, and he had a magic wand, and he'd go soup, soup, and he'd make things disappear. But he played too many tricks on people. He called to someone about to drink a nice cold glass or something and zoop, the glass disappears. Someone doing a hard job of work, zip, 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 up comes that father with that magic wand and zoop, no song. He come up to someone about to sit down after a hard day's work and zoop, no chip. And people said to the father, you get out of here too. Take your magic wand and your tricks and you and your son just get. The boy and his father were ostracized. That means they made them live on the edge of town. they used to tell stories. And the old people used to tell stories about giants that lived in the old days. They used to tell about a giant called Abiyoyo. They say that he was as tall as a tree and he could eat people up. Of course no one believed that story, but they told it anyway. One day, one day the sun rose blood red over the hill and the first people got up and looked out the window and they saw a great big shadow in front of the sun and they could feel the whole ground shake. Women screamed, strong men fainted, run for your lives! Adioyo is coming! Do you see Adioyo? He's right over the hill. He comes to a sheep pasture and he grabs a whole sheep. He comes to a cow pasture and he grabs a whole cow. No. Men yell, grab your most precious possessions and run! Run! Do you see Adioyo? Yes. Wait, he's right here. Just then, the boy and his father got up and looked out the window. He says, Hey, Pa, who was coming over the field? He said, Why, son, that's Ivy Oyo. Oh, if only I could get him to lie down, I can make him disappear. boy says, come with me, Pa. He grabs his father by one hand, the father gets the magic wand, and the boy gets his ukulele, and they run across that field. People yell, don't go near him, or he'll eat you alive. <laughs> and there was Abby yo, -Yo. He had long fingernails because he never cut them. He had slobbery teeth because he didn't brush them. He had stinking feet because he didn't wash them. He had matted hair because he didn't comb it. And he raised up with his claw. And just then the boy whoops out the ukulele and he starts to sing. Abio. Well, the 
giant had never heard a song with his name in it before. And with this foolish grin spread across his face, you know what he started to do? He started to dance. Abiyoyo got so tired he staggered down to the ground. But up stumps that father and soup. shoulder and they say come back to town and bring your darn ukulele we don't care anymore and they all started to see Visit us again for craft time. Until then, I'm signing off. But I'm not gone forever. Bye bye. <laughs>